Hit Film Sensei here. Welcome to the Hit Film Pro tutorial course, the very first video that happens every Monday. This is the first one that I'm doing in the new Monday video series, all about Hit Film Pro 2017, at least to start. But I have a feeling that we will be seeing Hit Film Pro 2018 very soon and when that comes out i will be the first one in line to pick it up so let's talk about models in hit film pro can you actually really get a realistic model look in hit film pro well we're gonna find out okay so i would maybe go online and find a model and start playing around with it all right but instead i've decided i'm just going to create a real chintzy quick and dirty fast model and see how I can make it look in HitFilm Pro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Blender. Yes, Blender is a free software that you can download and start using immediately. Now this is not going to be a tutorial on Blender, although if I do have enough interest, I'm happy to do tutorials on Blender as I am known for HitFilm, but actually I'm pretty adept at using Blender as well. And what I'm gonna do is in just a few seconds, I'm gonna create a model in Blender. So first I'm going to get rid of this model and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to add in a cylinder and I am going to um, actually I'm going to uh, I want to grab the face of this cylinder right there and I want to inset that Okay, and then I'm just going to extrude that so it comes down to about there. And also, I do believe I want to inset the bottom as well. So now, if you look at this, you can see that I have sort of what looks like a cup here, right? Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a subsurf modifier to it, and now we have a cup. It's pretty much that simple, all right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, Export that model, and I could make it a 3DS, because HitFilm will see that, an FBX. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just make it an o object file, an OBJ. And we're just going to call it a cup. Okay, and I'll make it a cup file. And there we go. So it was really that simple. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into HitFilm. And I'm going to import that. So, And here's the cup that I just made. And you can see it's the exact same one. All right, I'm going to make one modification to it, and that is under the um, illumination model. I'm going to change that to Cook Torrance and click OK. All right, I'm going to make a new composite shot. Let's make it 10 seconds. It doesn't have to be a full 30 seconds. Uh, we're going to bring our cup model in here. Uh, now, it doesn't look very pretty because there's no lighting to it. So we're going to start by lighting it. That's the first thing you need to know about models is that lighting is very important. We're going to add a light. It's also going to want to add a camera. And wait, where'd the model go? Oh, it's, it's actually underneath the light. We're going to go ahead and set this light. Uh, I'm going to make it 25 so it's much darker. And I am going to position it at about 2,000 by 500 by 2,000. Okay, and then I'm going to duplicate that light. And the second one, I'm going to move over to negative 2,000. And then I'm going to duplicate that light. And the third one, I'm going to back behind by 2,000. So basically what I have done, if I look at the top of, the, of everything, is I have create I have the camera looking at it and I have a light a light and a light okay and I'm just going to take that third light maybe and move it over just a little bit so I sort of have a three-point lighting system here okay all right back to the active camera now right away you say well you know that doesn't look too terrible does it I mean really uh in fact if I were to twirl this open and rotate it a little bit so you could see you know actually that looks that looks pretty nice really I mean that's not that's not bad at all you can see the lighting is really interacting well with it. All right. Okay, so let's take that cup and just move it up so it's sitting on the floor. Uh, whoops. Maybe just a smidgen higher. Okay. And then um, the camera itself, I'm going to create a camera control point. So it's a three-dimensional point here, and I'm going to 
uh, rename it camera control point and I want the camera to be parented to that um, and I'm just going to place the camera where I want it I want it to be higher and I definitely want it to be further back okay but the point is is that now if I kind of rotate the camera control point around we'll get a nice look at this cup from all kind of angles okay all right, so I'm very happy with that. Let's turn off the floor plane. And we're going to bring in, this is from my friend Eric on the uh, forums. He has a website called soundimage.org. And I'll leave a description in the, uh, uh, or link, link in the description below. Um, but he provides free different kinds of textures, pictures of different things. You definitely want to go check his site out. Uh, and, of course, he's on the forums a lot there at the Hit Film. Uh, dot com website uh, i'm gonna i've stolen a couple of his things and i i'm gonna use them one is this cement floor it looks a really cool looking picture uh and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use that i'm gonna make it into a 3d plane and i'm just going to rotate it on its x-axis to 90 degrees so that it is looks sort of like a floor there it does it looks very nice uh, and then also this brick wall that uh, i got from his website as well and I'm just going to make that into a 3D plane. And I think what I'm going to do is just push that back a bit. Let me uh, look at it from a top view. Yeah, you know, about right there maybe. Um, active camera. I think I might also lift it up. Okay. So there is, there it is. So now we have this cup sitting on this floor in front of this brick wall. All right. Let's go ahead and make the floor and the brick wall look pretty. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a parallax effect to the floor first yeah and that creates it makes it awfully dark um, I'm gonna knock the parallax itself down to about 10 um, and also I think that I want to change in the material properties um, the specular up a bit here just to you know kind of brighten it somewhat okay and maybe also the diffuse probably not quite maybe uh, i'm a little bit you know okay all right let's just go with that um all right now that looks pretty cool okay i'm gonna add a parallax effect to the wall behind there also that really uh gives it some realistic texture uh because it uses the parallax effect is going to use the lighting um you know and and the contrast of um the picture to create sort of depth in the in the shot okay all right so now you know the wall looks really realistic uh the floor looks really good the cup looks really good but the cup clearly does not belong it, it seems like it's not really in this picture it's just kind of sitting in there and one of the reasons is it's not interacting with it um so what i'm going to do is is i'm going to create some shadows here all right how do i do that well i'm just going to search the timeline for shadow uh and if I can spell, I'll probably find it too. I'm going to have all three lights cast shadows, okay? Um, all three lights cast shadows. And, of course, the cup I want to cast shadow as well. And so now I have these shadows everywhere, right? Yeah, and that looks pretty cool. All right now, also, the cup itself would sort of create a reflection almost... You know, it wouldn't be a mirror-like reflection, but it would definitely create a lightness here in front of it. Um, so what I'm going to do is, under the cup material uh, properties, I am going to say cast reflection, okay? Um, and then under the floor, I am going to say receive it. And what you're going to find is, uh it looks almost like a dang mirror there which is too much okay way too much way too much so we are going to lower the specular reflectivity down and we're going to lower it a lot so that it's almost not even there it's just barely there can you just barely see it in fact that might even be too much i really don't even want it to be even noticeable unless you were to actually turn it off and on right toggle it on and off so that you could barely tell that it was there, right? As just is it's almost subconscious that you you think, wow, you know, that really fits in the in the shot here, right? 
Okay, now one more thing I'm going to do, and I think we'll be good to go, and that is I want to add a light wrap effect to the cup itself because it, you know, this sharp edge here looks like it's not really sitting on that floor. Normally that would kind of wrap. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to source the floor layer and look what happens here. Boom, when I do that, it creates a sort of wrapping effect where it looks like the floor itself is bouncing the lighting of the floor itself is bouncing up here okay now i think what i want to do is i want to take this back light or this front light and i want to raise it up just a little bit you know or maybe a lot actually so that i get more lighting on the floor itself yeah that looks really good and so there is a fairly photorealistic look at this uh, very chintzy model that I made, right? Uh, but it really does look pretty impressive. Now, if I were to adjust the camera, and you know, because of all the parallax and stuff I've added, I'm just going to you know, type in some numbers instead of try to move it because my computer is going to have trouble uh, you know, moving. But take a look at that. I mean, that doesn't look too terrible, really. Um, maybe if I go to the other side, uh, we'll take a look at that right uh you know i mean pretty much from any angle this looks really good so um hopefully you learned something on this um if you have any questions leave them in the comments below if you'd like to see more blender stuff i'd be happy to do it leave them in the comments below otherwise thanks for watching if you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from hit film sensei consider liking the hit film sensei facebook page following the hit film sensei twitter feed and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday, and thanks for your support.